Hello my sweet friends, welcome to the Art Cake Experience channel. Let's see if you can guess who is going to be our guest today. We have several bowls of white sugar paste and you guessed it, this is going to be Olaf. Today we're going to be building a snowman and creating our little Olaf made out of modeling paste. So today we're going to be using, as I said, some um, modeling paste, white modeling paste. And I'm going to tell you how much. For each of its feet, let me just measure it. We have a total of three grams for each ball. The lower body, it's going to be about 21 grams. The upper body of Olaf is going to be approximately 10 grams. And for the head, I am using uh, more or less 17 grams. This could change as long as we are modeling, but this is for you to have a reference of how much you're going to be okay so to build my snowman this is what i'm going to need i'm going to need first a little toothpick to create the structure and i'm going to start with one of its feet what i'm going to do is i'm going to round it here a little bit okay and just press on top of my mat to create his one of his feet okay this is the second ball that we are going to be using for the lower body. What I'm going to do, I was, I had it like this, but I'm actually going to use it like this. And I'm just going to press here a little bit just to take the roundness, roundness out of it. And this, I'm going to glue this with this using uh, my toothpick and a little bit of water. You can use edible glue as well, but today we're not, we're only going to be using water. I'm going to use a little piece of styrofoam to create the base of the snowman or our little Olaf, right? Now I'm just going to wet this with a little bit of water and put the biggest part or the roundest part of its body here and we have this here what happened the other leg is going to be in the air right here so for the other leg I'm just going to cut half of a toothpick if you want to create a bigger olive or a more structure um, a sugar paste doll you can put a star from inside but today this is a small one so I'm just going to use the modeling paste. The advantage of the modeling paste is that it's very soft while you're modeling, but it hardens very well, so it gets very um, firm when you need some structure in it. So his other leg is going to be right here. Here is his other leg for that. Just bring this here. I'm going to do the same that I did in the other one. Just press against the mat to round the base. Okay, to make it um, flat and just round a uh, thinner the top here to create this sort of a uh, feet that he has, right? Our little Olaf. I love Olaf, it's a great character from Frozen. So now, again, I'm just press this more here. I'm going to add some water in here, okay? And just insert this back here. So we have the lower body or the lower part of the body and the two legs of all left. Now we're going to go with the middle section of it. So again, I had a round bowl like this, but I'm actually going to use it like this. I flatten it a little bit, just like we did on the other one, on this one. And I'm going to add some water and just put the middle section of all of here and we have its body now we have to do his head so compared to the picture i saw that this part of the body is a little bit big originally i think i mentioned this was and let me check this was supposed to be uh 12 17 grams but I'm going to reduce it to less. Let me just measure this now. 
okay this is now 10 grams okay it was 17 now it's 10 and i'm going to round it again okay make a ball when i compared with the design it was actually the the upper part of the body was a little bit big and just press go around like this press it and now I'm going to place it and I think now it's more proportionate towards what or dear Olaf is. Okay, now we're going to do that. Okay, so for the head, remember we have here 18 grams of, I think it was 17 grams of sugar paste, of a modeling paste. I shape this not into a circle, not into a ball, but into an oval, sort of like an egg shape or a teardrop shape, but not too accentuated here, because his head, and as you can put it here, has this sort of uh, shape, right? What are we gonna do? We're going to press against our mat, okay? Because his face is not totally round. Then, using a tool, we're going to, let me just use a small rolling pin first. With a small rolling pin, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press on the top, just put the pin here. I'm gonna press here on the top to create a narrow part in the top of his head. Now, with a small rolling pin, I'm going to roll down, okay? This part, and now let's just smooth it out, okay? And remember that if you can see here, I'm just gonna press here and bring this up because here's where his eyes are going to stand. Let me just bring this down a little bit more. Okay. Just round so you don't have all these edges here. Okay, round it with your finger. And okay, now it's starting to look like him, right? Now, again, with my rolling pin, I'm going to bring this part down a little bit more. Okay. Start to look like Olaf, doesn't it? And this will be the basic shape of Olaf. And now we're going to move on to his mouth. Okay, now using a modeling tool, I'm going to create, first of all, let me just mark here, two little indentations, okay? Because we're going to mark his face, his uh, mouth from here. I'm using my new modeling tools that I love. Again, I'm not endorsing anybody. I'm just saying that they're really cool. Okay, now I'm going to go and create the place where its mouth is going to be. He has some cheeks in here, right? Okay. Now, I want to create the cavity where it's mouth is going to be right so I'm just gonna go and bring this down here once I have the shape of where I want the black mouth to be okay because I need to bring this down in order for this part to come up don't worry about the markings because later on this is going to be covered in black sugar paste right now using a round tool I'm just going to smooth this out right And let me see my fingers here. And we have the basic shape of Olaf's mouth, right? It's gonna be a smiling, big smile. Okay. Now we're going to be using a little bit of black um, modeling paste, right? 
going to try to shape it first similar to the shape of the mouth it's okay if it's smaller because then using a modeling tool i'm going to spread this around the space right so first i know it fits in there now for this one i'm going to use my dresden tool and i'm just going to push this black sugar paste to every little corner of the indentation that we just made right so it really 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 fits in there be careful black sugar paste stains your fingers and you're working on a white surface so be very very careful of what you touch after using the black sugar paste my recommendation finish everything you need to do with the black sugar paste and wash your hands and okay so now it's there it's now okay so now let me just move the camera a little bit lower so you can see better what i'm doing okay so now that we have the, let me just move this to the small small one so it's easier for me to move it so now that we have its mouth we need he has very big front teeth we need to add his eyes and his carrot nose so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to mark where the eyes are going to be which are going to be around here right to make it bigger because we're going to be doing a lot a lot now, but we're going to be doing a few things in his eyes, right? Okay, now I'm going to add the teeth. Just take a little piece of sugar paste, roll it out. Okay, teeth are not round, so I'm going to cut them using an X-Acto knife. Okay, just a piece like that. Just remove these that we're not going to use. And the lower part, I'm going to cut it as well. And just kind of wet these here. And add the teeth right here. Okay. Here are all of the teeth. Just help with my dresden tool who doesn't like a dresden tool okay great now for the eyes i'm going to be using a little bit of blue like baby blue very little uh black and white okay so i have little pieces of baby blue that i'm going to insert in just make make a ball and insert this ball in the cavity whoops sorry of the eye this is a little bit big because i don't want it to come out like that because it still needs its other white for the eye so i'm going to cut this in half insert that into the eyes and with the same tool that you open the eyes just press and fill that cavity with the blue background. Especially to the top. Okay, now I'm gonna take the white and I'm gonna make a ball that can fit in there. This is too big. But that I can see a little bit of the, the blue that I just put back there, right? I'm working this backwards because for me it's easier okay so you can see the blue in the back right I'm going to press a little bit there same in here just press a little bit okay and now a little bit of black it's going to be looking to one side probably here and the other eye has to go the same way of course and here right 
Okay, there you go. And now using, it looks weird without the nose. <laughs> using just a little tiny bit, rolled out a little tiny bit of black. Like nothing, guys, okay? Just a little bit. Just about. I don't know if you can see it there. Hope you can see it. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one in two. Okay, and one is going to go into this eye. There you go. You can see a little bit of peekaboo of the blue in the back and a little bit of the black in the eye as well. I just use the dressing tool so I don't cut this anymore. Okay, there you go. And the same on the other side. Okay, this is a little bit too much. Let me just take this bit here. I hope you can see. See this? That is so small. So I'm gonna start here. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna start right here. And I just hold it with the dressing tool. Now I'm just gonna go around the eye. And this is a little bit much, so I'm gonna cut it around here okay perfect and we have all of eyes now let me just get a little bit of orange for the nose and the brown that is for his hair eyebrows and hands okay so now using a little bit of orange uh, sugar paste I'm going to create the nose which is a small carrot This is a little bit big. I'm just going to cut it. And I think this is big enough for the carrot. Okay. Just glue it here with I think it's a little bit big. I'm gonna make it smaller. No one exaggerate carrot nose right in these known characters all these little details will make the whole difference right so yeah here's his nose and i'm going to take a little bit of brown sugar paste now using some brown uh sugar paste i'm going to roll out a very thin piece Right. I'm going to cut around here. And we're going to do his eyebrows, right? Okay, so now I have the eyebrows done. I'm going to place his head in his body. For that, I'm going to be using a toothpick. A new one because we already have one here in the middle and I'm going to insert that right here right okay. perfect and using a little bit of water I'm going to add his head I'm just gonna add it not totally straight but like to one side see so he looks like yay like he's dancing now uh, I'm going to add some hair on the top of his head. Just take a little piece of brown sugar paste. I'm gonna roll a little, little sausage like this. And I'm just going to press in one of the sides and just go like this. Okay, that will be his hair, his hair. Okay. 
so as you can see we did the hair and we did the buttons i don't know if i think i recorded but i'm not sure so i just say i just took a uh, little balls of black sugar paste and glue one in here and two in here just pressing okay now we're going to do the arms for the arms i'm going to roll out a piece of brown sugar paste okay this piece i'm gonna cut it where's my exacto knife here. let me just put it here it's easier i'm gonna cut this piece in two okay i'm going to take two toothpicks one goes here, another one goes here. Maybe around here. This one around here. Now I'm going to wrap this around the toothpick. Just wrap it, okay? Don't worry about the excess. We'll work this out in a second. I'll just put some more water here. Wrap it around the toothpick. And I'm going to leave a little piece here. I'm going to use my scissors. I'm just going to leave a little piece here in the front, around here probably. Right? Same in this one. Just gonna flatten and leave a little piece right here in the front. And what I want to do is this part, I'm going to leave this like this, okay, flatten. And this part, I'm just going to roll it down very glue to the to the toothpick. Just bring it down and bring it down. See, I'm bringing down the excess and just cut whatever you don't need, okay? I'd rather make the arms longer. And here I can cut this right here, okay? And if I need it to make it smaller, I'll make it smaller before insert it into the snowman or our Olaf. Okay, so I'm bringing this down. Down, down, down to whatever I don't need anymore. Okay, and now cut the excess. Okay, now from this part, I'm gonna cut with the exacto knife a couple of branches, right? Just remove this middle part. Okay. So you can make like three cuts. Will be his little hands, right? Now we just have to measure how long we want the arms. I think this is a little bit long, so I'm gonna cut it about here. Remove the axis, and I'm gonna measure the other one the same, so it's about here. Okay, perfect. Now, to insert this, first of all, I'm going to use a different toothpick, just to know this arm I want it to go up, so that means it has to be inserted like this, right? And this arm, I want it to go straight. So it's going to be inserted like this. Okay, my dear friends. So here is uh, the, the whole body and the whole Olaf is really cute, but he's missing his little hands as I show you how to do them. So here they are. I just place the two little hands in here. 
uh, one to the side, one to the other. Be very careful when you place them so you don't damage the work that you have already done. Uh, and I'm just going to add now some pink dust in his cheeks just to give a little bit of shine. So I'm going to use a little bit of blue uh, dust uh, just to add some shadows, very small shadows here underneath his feet, just to give him the icy look, right? Here and there. I don't know if you can see it there. Just on the base of its feet. I'm also going to add some right here in the middle where the the parts come together. See? Just to give some some icy look into the snow. It doesn't look just just white, you know. There we go. Just move this here. If you look like this, you'll see better, right? Some shadows here and there. Okay, maybe here on the top. Just a little bit. Okay. I love when we use dust just to give some shadows into our, and some definition to the things that we do. Now for his cheeks, I'm going to be using uh, rose dust. And I'm gonna take this and just tap it here and here. And there we go. We have our little friendly snowman olive done and ready to be placed on a cake as a cake topper. And here it is, our little olive, our happy and friendly um, snowman we all love and adore and he's just ready very easy to make as you can see guys it is very easy to make and it's ready to be placed on the top of a cake just let it rest you can do it in advance before your cakes and um, keep it in a um, place a dry place with no humidity and it will hold for a long time uh, I hope you like this tutorial I hope it has been helpful to you and I cannot wait to see all the many beautiful Olaf that you're going to be making. Hope that you liked it. Hope that you have enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can keep having many more tutorials to come. Thank you so much for, so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.